So this will mark, I think, the fifth time I tried recording this video, or have recorded, actually, I should say. There's been so many issues. I am giving no... I mm, can't do the word books, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm really dis... <laughs> Oh, but I read two other books from him. It's a guy, right? It's read a book with the color of your birthstone. Um, like read a book with the cover of a color of read a book with the cover of the color of your birth. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna read it verbatim. How about that? Read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. Wow, that was way easier than what I was trying to say. So I picked Red Right Red Rising. It's a whole different series. Okay. Um I can't remember what the hmm. I can't remember. Um and I'm sure there's a glare on my glasses. But I just I don't know, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, so this is this is it. This is what we got So today I am doing my TBR for the reading rush readathon Which is a readathon that takes place between July 20th through the 26th I will link the video of the readathon below so you can check it out if you're interested um, This will be the first time I participate in a reading rush readathon. I'm very excited um to take part, to challenge myself. I was very um, thrilled to pick out the books. It was a lot of fun and I'm excited to share them with you today. So the first the first prompt is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. I was born in August, um, which means my birthstone's a peridot, which is green. So for this one, I picked Home Before Dark by Riley Saker. This is his new release. I read two other books by Riley Saker and I thoroughly enjoyed them. They were a lot of fun. They kept me hooked from beginning to end. So I'm hoping that will be the same for this one. Um, I have heard mixed reviews about this book and given the given the summary, I'm not surprised. It's a basic, you know, haunted house story. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of ghost stories, but I'm hoping because I liked his other books and his writing style that I will like this. But basically a woman, um, when she was young, she was a child, she lived in this Victorian home this Victorian manor out in the middle of the forest in Vermont um and you know it was a haunted house her parents left her father wrote a memoir about it um and now she's a woman she doesn't really have any memories of that time she's only going off of what she's read in um her father's memoir and she redoes old homes for a living so this is kind of her way to get back there to redo that home um find out what's going on with the house um and the town people aren't really that thrilled that she's back because I guess you know her father didn't show them in the best light um so yeah I I hope that it will be really fun exciting and, and keep me going so the next prompt is read a book that starts with the word the so for that one I picked The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley another thriller um i recently read The Guest List and I really enjoyed it. I had so much fun reading it. It was a whodunit but there was sort of like a twist on it which I really enjoyed surprisingly um, and I really wanted to um, pick up her other book so I'm really excited to be reading this The Hunting Party. Um, it's essentially the same sort of concept as The Guest List. There are people who gather together. Um, there's a murder and there's so many suspects and you kind of go through um, you know that story and I I think this one will, will might even be more airy because this actually takes place in a like a remote hunting lodge in the middle of the wilderness in Scotland maybe the highlands I don't know but the um guest list took place on an island which was also creepy because you're trapped on the island and the weather wasn't that great so you had like choppy water and stuff but um yeah I'm really excited to read this one as well so the next one is Read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. This one was actually really tough for me, surprisingly. There are so many movies that are adapted from books. Um, and there are so many movies that I have not read the book um, of. But going through my books and going through just general lists online, I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to read. So I had to do some 
some thinking and I came to the conclusion that I'm going to read Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, which is the first chronologically in the Hannibal Lecter series. Um, so this one is more about Will Graham than it is Lecter, but Lecter's still featured in, in the book. Um, this is a series I've been wanting to, to pick up for quite a while. I love most of the movies. I love the show. Um, the show is actually streaming now and I've been wanting to rewatch it. So I thought this would be another, you know, great, a great choice, another thriller. Um, and yeah, so I will be reading that one and then I will, you know, pick up the other ones at a different time, but, um, it'll be exciting starting, a, starting a series during a readathon. So yeah, that's my choice for that one. The next one is read the first book you touch. So the way I went about this one is I sat down in front of my bookshelves, closed my eyes, had my husband come in and pick like 10 books um, and put them in front of me. And I just reached out and the first one that I picked, which actually made my husband happy because this is a book that he got me years ago and I haven't read it. So the book that I picked was The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami. Um, this is very different than his other work apparently. This is more artistic um, and it's a short story, but it's like a really cool flap that you open. And then, you know, the font is really big. The spacing is pretty wide. There are a lot of illustrations. Um, and it's supposed to be just more of an artistic piece. And it's basically about this lonely boy, a mysterious girl, and this tormented sheep man who are all stuck in this massive nightmarish library that they're trying to get out of. So that one will probably be, you know, a rather quick read, which is which is good for this read of fun. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to read one of his stories that I haven't touched yet. So the next one is read a book completely outside of your house. I'm really nervous about this one because I am privileged to have a balcony, but and in a ton of parks around me that I can go to. But um, it has been pretty hot, <laughs> um, and I'm not a huge fan of the heat. So we'll see. We'll see how much of it I draw outside. I might maybe crack a window and sit beside the window and have that count. I don't know. Um, but the book I picked for that is a book I talked about in I think my last video. But it's a Good Marriage by Kimberly McRae. Um, Another thriller surprise prize. Uh, this is about a woman who's a lawyer. She's having trouble with her marriage, and while this is going on, an old friend of hers um, calls her up and requests for help because he is the prime suspect in his wife's murder. And so she tries to help him, discovers all these secrets of their marriage, um, of the community that they live in, all while dealing with the struggles of her own marriage. Um, and yeah, I've, I just heard amazing things about this one, so I'm really excited to actually read it next one is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. It's super easy for me. I, I already knew immediately that the genre I was going to choose. Um, and that is children's, children's books, specifically middle grade books. I am currently in the process of getting my educational license. Um, I can teach up to community college when I'm done, but, um, I, I do really want to teach middle grade language arts, reading, writing. Um, so I'm always now looking for middle grade books that I can put in my toolkit. Um, and I've had this on my shelf. I found it at a thrift store at some point. And I just think it's really, it's, it looks so cute. And the story um, seems like it'll be a lot of fun. So it's called Winter House by Ben Gooderson. Um, and this is about a young girl who's shipped off by her aunt and uncle to this huge sort of hotel um and while there she finds this massive library and in that library she finds a magical book filled with puzzles and she discovers you know all these secrets um about the family which i love the name of Nor norbridge falls the norbridge family <laughs> Norbridge and his sinister family, as it's described on the back. Um, so she she discovers all these secrets. She she starts to figure out how she is linked to this hotel, to this family. And I mean, it kind of is like another thriller, like a children's thriller in a way. Um, yeah, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. There are some illustrations in here as well, which is done by Chloe Bristol. Um, and I love, 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 love the illustrations for children books these days. They're always so beautiful. I mean, this one is so beautiful. Look at the girl. 
just adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. Read a book that takes place in a different, on a different continent than which you live. I live in the States, so this was, um, it was actually pretty tough trying to find a book on my bookshelf. Um, that wasn't like a big book to read. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm cheating a little bit with this one because technically I think it takes place more in Neverland, but it does take place in England as well. So I'm picking If You Couldn't Tell Already, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. Um, I haven't read Peter Pan since I was a child, I think, but I love, I love the story. I love the movies. Um, and it'll be fun rediscovering the story and, and, um, yeah, I think it'll be just a really nice read to finish up the readathon. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, those are my picks. Those are my TBR um, for the Reading Wish readathon that's happening at the end of the month. I'm so excited to participate. I'm actually kind of, I wrote it down on my calendar. And so yeah, I'm really excited to do it. Um, and I've been watching everyone's videos um, of their TBR because I just, I just love watching people's picks. But yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening or whatever it is for you. And you're always staying cozy.